usually, I, you know, and I can't restrain myself, usually I put my own spooky music on games just to set my own atmosphere and you know, have a bit of personality about things because uh, we can't all just put Kevin McLeod on everything we upload. But this game brings the goods. It used to open the main menu and you got this singing from like the past. Singing from an open coffin at the bottom of a well. Truly chilling. And it's not October anymore. I can't even do Halloween. I've been trying to get David to play Phasmophobia with me. He won't do it. So this is under Depths of Fear. Um, played the demo a little while ago. I think it's the full version now, so... I've been liking the look of it. I'm a simple man. People pointed out some obvious sort of... Not f flaws, but... Sort of weaker aspects of it last time I put a video up. It's all fair criticism, but I don't really care. Because like I said... Put me on a sinking ship, and I'm happy. Like I say, I'm a pretty simple guy. I like what I like. Oh, August, I get some And the thing is, I didn't really get much of the story last time because I'm ignorant, so now we're going to pay some attention. It's, so we're near the end of the World War, the First World War. Life expectancy of actually in six weeks. They're babies! <laughs> That's some third trimester shit. Okay. Military and civilian. So uh, we're in a ship at wartime, I guess. And the classic Titanic uh, pocket watch. If not everything has to be the fucking Cyberflix Titanic game, but I am just obsessed. Actually, I'll tell you what, this week's obsession has been Papers, Please. Um, because I played those two knockoffs, and I thought, why not just play the original? And so I've been playing that on my iPad in bed, and I'll tell you what. Oh, fucking hell. Is that it? Are those ears? Am I riding some sort of... Small dog? Large dog? Small pony? Actually, i got a question for you. Before the game actually starts, it, does any game have, in the first person view... You know how you have a see-through nose on either side of your vision? Because... Yeah. I might get into making games, I'll be the first. Alright, so, those are the two hoodlums that are wheeling me around. Some sort of World War One wooden wheelchair. <laughs> I barely said that. Ugh, elocution, not great. Use WASD to walk. All right. Make sure it's not FASD, as in fetal alcohol syndrome. Okay, I'm gonna find a key. Honestly, I can't tell if my eyes are droopy or if this is like the open slit in my neck, and we're just taking on the point of view of a dying man, a man that needs bifocals. I've got that menu music stuck in my head now. Oh. Never drink from another man's flask, that's my rule. Okay, jump doesn't work. Shift appears to work, so that's... Okay. I love the tiles. I really... <laughs> I don't know. I, it gets my vote of confidence. It's set on an old-timey ship, but it's not the Titanic. I mean, that's really all I ask for. Do -do. Oh, that could be... <laughs> okay, never mind. Alright. Oh, it's one of those white chocolate life jackets as well that they had on the, uh, the old TT... TT... <laughs> Does the Titanic have any nicknames? I don't know, I haven't got the creative juices to really come up with any, but... I don't like the word... Isn't it amazing how there's some things that are great, but the words for them suck? The two prime candidates for that for me are, like, juice. Terrible word, but, you know, a great drink. And cheese. <laughs> I, I eat pretty much <laughs> any variety of cheese you can think of. I'm a real, real connoisseur. But the actual word, like, really... I don't mind telling you, it really weirds me out. Oh. Alright. You can't say that this shipping line doesn't make amenities for the disabled. They're, you know, they're accessibility conscious. Here's a good one for you. Did they have cardboard boxes in World War One? Box of matches. I can tell you right now, from my vague memories of the demo, that we are not going to be using a single match in this playthrough. Um, unless we absolutely have to. Uh, we're going to be cons conserving them. I'm going to treat these like the last matches on the world. On the... <laughs> on the planet. Alright. I'm wasted on YouTube, honestly. And wasted on YouTube. I don't feel very well. I'm kind of... I don't know when this video is going to go up. The election will probably be over by then, but... I'm kind of bummed out that... Uh, Oh my god. Someone's been scribbling out faces of the soldiers. Um, the last election, I, you know, I didn't really have anywhere to be, so I got to sit there for the full eight hours until we got a result. 
and just watch it and stream it and hang out and have fun. Can't be doing that this year, I've got responsibilities now. Um, so where I'd rather be, you know, at work, making a cat. Uh, but I think I, I'd like to strike a compromise. What I'd like to do is stream the election from work while I'm, hang on, torpedo strike notice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> get twatted. <laughs> Oh fuck! The game tricked me into using a match! I'm gonna pull that Peter O'Toole trick and intentionally burn my finger. The trick is not minding that it hurts. It's a one big fucking bondage reference. To say nothing of the fact that later on in the movie, in Lawrence of Arabia, Lawrence winds up in a Turkish prison. I mean, <laughs> tell me that wasn't his fantasy. I love this model boat. It's a small section of model boat. Is it actually the part that I'm in? That'd be cool. <laughs> gate lock code. Aft gate lock number. Six. Do you think I can remember that? That's one number. That's pushing it. Um. Cool. I'm loving the... Oh! Alright. Oh, combination... Does this have a six? The Germans will hear us. I almost said Nazis. They don't exist yet. It's just a good old-fashioned pickle help wearing Prussians. Um, oh my god. If this was real, I would have been thrown off the boat by now for being obnoxious. Oh god. You ever hear those ancient recordings of people from like the first first wax discs? And it sounds like it sounds like a fucking ghost. Patient was found dead in his ward. I should have played this in Halloween. I would have pissed myself. I'll tell you what we did instead. We were watching... Um, me and the missus watched Borat 2. And the first episode of The Mandalorian Season 2. Chef's kiss. I highly recommend down and downloading things for free. And just uh, enjoying them. Sorry, uh, have I, I, I? I reckon if I went went back and watched the Barry Nine Twelve backlog, I could probably trace the deterioration of my digestive tract pretty well. You know, really spot where the first sort of hiccupings began. Because nowadays I get reflux like nobody's business. Oh, I mean, I have so many questions. Is this a logical ship layout? Or is it just like kind of random, shippy looking, but basically a maze? See, look at that. Okay. Can, can you turn that so that oh, these turning axes are rubbish? Now I've got a, it's upside down. Okay, ward. Do you have UR here? That's always the best thing to put on a map. Uh, you only use B root in lockdown. <laughs> Still waiting for that to end, aren't we? No, no, not in Perth. Oh, oh, I swear to Christ. Is tab the mouse, the, the match button? Oh, shit. Oh, hey, match point. I didn't... Oh, fuck it, look at that. Well, okay, I don't know what the controls are, but I'm just not going to press tab from now on. I don't know what you made me press it in the first place. What good is a map if you can't take it with you as well? Oh, shit, okay, we need to, like... We need to shake a leg now, we need to... <laughs> How bad is your sinking? If you look out there and you see a fish looking back at you, you're in bad shape. Okay, let's... Wait. Oh, shit. I just... Fucking... What are the controls? First of all, I had a key in my inventory before, and now I don't. I don't... And every time I try and go back to the controls screen, if there is one... Oh, I'm back here again. Is that the same photograph I placed before? Uh, passed before? Good God. My gut tells me we came from that way. Yeah, because there's an open door there, so I've explored this part of the ship, more or less. Except I know for a fact I picked up some keys and there was a key icon on the screen down there. And I don't think I used it yet. Be an absolute alpha move if I found Leonardo, Ca <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio down here and I didn't break him free. Rose! Rose, use the axe! She looks at him for a minute like, why? I'd rather be his whore than your wife. Oh, no, no, hang on a minute. This is like the first... This is the first... Ah! Oh! <laughs> this is... 
<laughs> this is why you can't take me anywhere. I just fucking... <laughs> right click, now that we know, is the match button. And I've used up three of them before we even hit a dark patch. Oh, Oh, this didn't go so well. Don't you just love um, grown men that can't play games? Oh, Alright, hang on a minute. Let's check every goddamn disc. It's a defiled photograph of the platoon. If I had my way, I would have done it myself. Give me a pen. I'll show you what I think of the platoon. Okay. In here, was there something? Gate lock code, done that. Model ship. Admired it. Genuine admiration of that. I really admired the handiwork. <laughs> okay, we are now at the end of the map. We're in the spooky room with the case file on the stiff. Does that play again? Or okay, no, I don't really want it to anyway. Alright, that was under everybody. No, hang on. Fucking every key. Okay, this crouch, good, good. We're in good shape. Why can't I get that key back? I swear I had one. If I roll the tape again. Quick check of the ship reveals there's like an open thing here. I think we can go through, but of course we don't have any matches, so I'm gonna go all sort of, you know, squinty vision here for a minute, like we were at the start of the game. And I don't know. Hope the hell that wherever we're headed isn't far away, because I can't. It's almost worth starting again and just not fucking up the matches, I don't know, what do you think? Oh, fuck, I can't see anything. I've never looked better, huh? Oh. oh, come on, guys. I can see the light there, I know I'm on the right track. I can tell. <laughs> okay, hang on. Some doors are breakable by running into them. Awesome. Just like real life. A little sprint. A little burst of energy there. Ship needs some more Red Bull. Okay, we got. Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's the, it's the classic counterintuitive sinking ship logic. Down. Sometimes you want to go down instead of up. Access door. Do not run into the door. Gotcha. Can you put up some signs saying "Do not right click"? Because right now. Oh, there we go. Cool. I think I made it somewhere. I would have a, a pocket full of matches right now. My hair's fucking awful. Um, shirt's awesome. Hey, look at this. Classic, not my pick for best Volkswagen of all time, but beautiful colour scheme. Alright. Oh lordy, okay. I don't know where we dropped down from. Let's get a lay of the land. The level starts here, so it's all in this direction. We can't go wrong. <laughs> Stairs to G-Deck. That's okay, good. I'm gonna investigate everything. You know, I've made myself look like I'm very bad at going to a boiler room? <laughs> oh, there we go again. Okay. I'm going over this place with a five tooth comb. <laughs> Isn't that one of those expressions? Alright. And all the fucking little grimy stokers that got out of here. Did you know the average stoker was only four foot six tall? They had to be to get down there. Um, of course it does. These ships would have been literal death traps. Oh, dig it! I, I like the... It's been drawn by a seven-year-old, the name, but everything else looks fantastic. Pick up. Box of matches. Can be lit with... You know what I need? The, the nuclear launch facilities, they have like this red thing. A hatch that goes over the switch. You have to pull that up first before you... Press the button. That's a, I'm assuming they do. And that's really what my right click needs when I play something like this. There's no zoom? Ah. I'm used to playing things like uh, My Summer Car and whatnot. Derail Valley. Ooh. Shit. Someone's fucking in here. Oh, no way. Is he out in the corridor? He just found out that if you run into a door, you can bust it open. <laughs> Hold shift to be a monster. Right. Dangle, dangle. Give me them. I'll take that. Thank you very much. I think I surmised that um, the key disappeared before because I used it on the door without actually trying to. <laughs> I had some sort of 
childish panic that I accidentally dropped it or something. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, mother of god, am I fucking stuck in here? I'm not crawling through that bit, that's way too small. I can't... In games where you have to figure shit out, I don't like being stuck every five seconds. This is gonna put me in a bad mood. Alright. Do I dare use a match? I don't know. I don't. Oh, hang on. As a soldier, what did you write in your expectations to be? Victory. Flawless victory. Well, we all went to fight. We have our families. Is he a soldier or is he from Dimension X? Shredder! We needed everyone. King. Long live the king! Every bloody day he gets sacked. If one stays, we all suffer. Well, that's war. You have to get used to Don't it. Don't delude your way out of it. Just signed up for it. It will happen. Bitch. Alright. Let your soul rest. That what happens will never happen again. I think it's crossed. I mean, it's not like <laughs> another world war could fucking come along. So I have to listen to this until one of the doors bursts open. They've done a decent job of imitating the old warped gramophone sort of thing. Um, in as much as it's a lot, it'd be asking a lot for them to actually dig up a real one and make up some cylinders. There's tutorials for that shit. You can actually get like a cardboard tube and some tin foil and turn that into a sound recording device. Oh, I haven't looked up yet. Is there any up I can go? No. <laughs> oh! oh fucking, about fucking time. Okay, so it made me listen to that so I could go through. Now what the hell's with that noise and all the scary stuff before? Does that mean I'm about to get butt tickled by a real man? Um, I almost don't know what to do with the brightness of this because I know for a fact you guys aren't going to see shit. Um, stairs to fall off. Okay, good. We're up. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Somewhere down here is a Serbian who's mad that his accomplice <laughs> only cares about getting loaded and doesn't care for the Serbian struggles. And I'm getting to a dramatic fist fight with him any second. Prepare to die at the hands of Serbia. Boom. No, we made it. No fights, no nothing, no drama. Ooh! Oh, good, more puzzles. Watertight door indicator panel. Oh, shit. We don't want to start fucking with these because, um... Not without instructions, anyway, because... We'll let the water come in if we're not... Oh, hang on a minute. I know what's going on. I bet you I have to fucking manipulate the watertight doors so that... I can, like, escape or something. Because I don't think I'm saving the ship in a hurry. Open or shut? I don't understand. I could lock myself in the bottom, in the bowels of the ship. Did I die? What happened? <laughs> it played the scary sound, and where the fuck am I? Did I just come through? Did I progress? I'm scared. This way to stern up. Oh. Beautiful. Number one engine room. I don't like to play favorites, but this pretty much is my number one engine room. Okay. Alright. That's bad, don't get me wrong, but I thought I was about to get mugged. Okay, good. Jesus. My first real hazard. Steam bath. 200 degree fucking moisture. All over my character. This way to stern. I get. Th I. Okay. Can we, can we drive the ship? <laughs> I thought these games were always missing. Okay. Wait. Oh, there's a gate there. I'm gonna probably find some keys. Well. So I gotta go back. Oh, fuck it. That could be the name of this game. He called it Under because it's spooky, simple, catchy. It's a horror game. You're on a boat. Whatever. Really, if he was being honest with himself, he could have called it, you have to go back now. 
<laughs> you forgot something. Stairs to tank top. So the only tank top on this ship is the one that Kate Winslet's going to be wearing when we get out of here. Alright. Let's see. I've got to stop breezing past things. There could be a key hanging off any knob in this hole. I mean, if we really wanted to fuck with people, the key could just be down there under this grate. And I've always maintained that in the movies, it makes for good drama to be like, Oh, we can't unlock the gate. We're going to drown. Do something. In real life, you're pulling those, those bars apart. You're, you're breaking hinges. I reckon the human body can do incredible things when it needs to. I don't know. Just... I don't want to say anything mean, but the people on the Titanic that drowned, they probably, in sports terminology, just didn't want the win enough. They didn't... They weren't hungry for it. They just needed to try a little goddamn harder. And, uh... They probably will still be here. <laughs> the ripe old age of 140. Okay. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen any keys dangling. I need some help in a minute. Is there any walkthroughs? It's a pretty new game, but I have to imagine that somebody who's had more spare time than me has figured all this shit out already. And... Oh! Oh, I... <laughs> oh god! I just spent a full five minutes going backwards in the game. <laughs> I fucking... I don't want to throw around any terms like self-loathing, but right now... Ah! Okay. More steam. Again with the steam baths. I'm going to look like a million bucks when I get out of here. My skin's going to be... Water. Ah! Can we get over the water? Can we... What is it like? Is it freezing? Shit. What do we do? What do we do? Oh boy! Now up is good. Forget everything I said before about being counterintuitive. Oh no. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Is this gonna help? This is what those uh, honor and glory guys really need to get right. Is a sinking mode where, uh, you know, everything's on the line and you gotta get out of there quick, otherwise, uh. Oh no! Dash it, there's a. A, tr a trolley from the kitchen in my way. Whatever will we do? Oh boy. Okay. Lucky they're still working. Imagine being down here and needing a match. Like the match is your only light. Fuck that. My guy's not running anymore. Did I exhaust my little World War One soldier? How fit were those guys, anyway? Were they even, like, doing any physical exercises yet? Or were they just all... Ooh, bags of meat holding shitty rifles, I mean... Okay, fuck it. I'm gonna do it. Oh my god. I lit a match and candles appeared. I do like in-game subtitles for shit that you can't actually hear. It's always a good indicator that you need to go somewhere and... and Pay attention. Pick up one of those terrifying. Oh, a birdie helmet. Yeah, yeah. If you look through both holes at once, you see the face of the guy that died while he was wearing it, staring back at you. I always forget where the camera is. I've gotten. I think I've gotten past my habit of looking at the microphone while I talk directly to the conceptual audience because I know we don't have a real one, but. Uh, Hey, you know what would be a good idea? Fucking get one of those guns. We might... We might need it. Can't tell if this is romantic or in incredibly terrifying. Like a trail of candles leading to like a picnic ba <laughs> picnic basket and blanket. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I can't see anything now and I don't want to use it in a match. Oh, the game has music. I can sort of see... I think that's the way I came from, though. I don't want to go back there, do I? I keep hitting space to try and jump. In the forlorn hope that it will speed me up a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. That's a... You might not see this because it's a shit video quality, but that's a watertight door. I'm getting through that in a hurry. Okay. So what the hell do you want from me? Under? What the... If I really, really squint, I can see a grid. So that's how we're going to navigate. We're going to 
Oh, fuck, I can't use another match. I really can't. Please. Don't do this to me. Okay, we're going back, we're going back the way of the candles. Obviously, we didn't do something. Jeez. Oh. Just let me know if anything appears behind me. There's like a ghost or whatever. Just holler out. Poster times. Whoa. Okay, we can't pick up the Brody helmet. So I can't, like, take it with me and give it to the ghost or whatever to give him peace for his eternal soul or anything like that. Which would be my first instinct. Like, you see this little soldier's memorial over here, you think, okay. Give him the helmet and he can wander off and enter the next stage. Um, what is that? I... I, I Oh, oh, interactability. Oh! <laughs> Blink and you'll miss it. There was a fucking a skull in there. Oh, oh. Am I dead? <laughs> what happened? Oh, shit! Is it open or shut? Oh, oh I could. Oh, fuck, there's water down there. I'm not suggesting for a second that this game should be on some sort of hard time limit where, you know, it's constantly sinking and it's a hard sort of, you know, if you don't make it out in 47 minutes, you're dead. But, that would be pretty damn exciting. Um, in any case, oh! Oh, beautiful. Nice artwork. Ah, uh, shit, what am I doing? Oh, man. Should I just flick all of them? Is this what people do in the dying dying stages of, you know, ship sinkings? Throw every switch. Oh shit, okay, that was stupid. Get the gate, get the gate. There's a gate somewhere. Oh, oh! <laughs> An act of common stupidity, I fucking flicked. Oh wait, hang on, okay. Okay, good, that's the ladder. That's all I really needed was one switch, but I flicked all of them and I thought that I shut that gate, but that actually wasn't the gate that they came through. Life and its little misunderstandings, you know what I'm saying? Oh god, this game's stressing me out. I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight. I've got two matches, don't know if that's a true and fair accounting of... Hey! I think one of the demos started here. Cool! I'm like that little bitch hacking in Jurassic Park. I know this! This is a Unix system. I've... I have this vague, vague memory of playing somebody, a game that somebody made of that and consistently saying Linux instead of Unix. Or the other way around. I, I fucking don't remember that. The video or the movie, but... Apologies, you know, I like to be accurate. Uh, I'm not always... Oh. Caution, wet paint. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, wow. Sometimes you just gotta take a run-up. Oh dear Amelia, today was our first day on the front since we arrived from training. I mainlined uh, season two of The Haunting, you know, Haunting of Bly Manor, and the father, I think, from the first season of The Haunting Show, is this other guy, and he puts on this voice that like, I'm not going to say it's the worst English accent ever, but it's not far off, and it just sounds like me when I read out letters and games. I must insist we have to visit France after this war is over. Anyway, uh, you see that grain in the screen? I have to like do this after a minute of reading. He visualizes a man who has no pants on, and worst of all, already seems frightened throughout the entirety of the day. I'm truly hoping that it would man up. Our officer clearly told us that every man needs to work together for our platoon to be combat effective. Rip the letter up, fucking post it to your mother. <laughs> Which side am I on? Um, is that door working? <laughs> you have to rule out every door. In a game of... Oh, post. It's that weird signage in this. Yeah, in a game of under, you have to rule out every option, every possibility. You gotta eliminate the negatives. And accentuate the positives. Um... Hmm. Spooky gramophone! <sighs> Alright, give it a whirl. This need not be a solitary trouble for you. 
Oh yeah, Bly Manor had this guy doing a Scottish accent, and <laughs> I, I played this out with my wife. I've joked, I've made every joke about it that I can make, so I'm not going to like sit here and try and re redo them. But it really, I get the impression that that actor said to the producers of the show, "Listen, guys, I've got this accent for you, and you're not going to believe how good it is." And then he did his dodgy Scottish accent, and because Americans don't really, they never, they've never heard a good one. They just hear very bad ones done on TV. They're like, "Oh my god, oh my god, that's the most convincing thing we've ever heard." And they let him do it for the show. It wasn't bad, but it was like, you know, like you saw 30 seconds ago with me reading the letter. It's just, when someone's doing a voice, you can just tell. I like the, I like, well, I like the game, I don't know. I, you can cast aspersions on it and say it's kind of basic, but like, what do you want? <laughs> what? A one guy dev team. I don't know how many people make this, but do you want two or three people with some Unity knowledge to pop out something that's triple triple A? And what is triple A anyway? I mean, you play a studio game now, and there's so much jank you can barely get your way through it. Or do you want some crowdfunded scam like Star Citizen that's never going to come out? You know, I'll just take this. This is fun. Beware the sound of the cloves. Oh my God! Are you telling me that the guy on the ship has? Proofs? Make sure it's gone. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe. Okay, cool. The door is locked. We'll move on to the next one. Sweet. The ghost of Houdini. <laughs> the, the poster comes alive. Scotty, you shouldn't joke about Houdini. Right, he's back. Okay. Alright. I actually remember this. Uh-oh. Oh god. I do remember this is a fucking jump scare. Oh no. <laughs> you look over your shoulder and he... Okay. P walk into objects to push them. Alright. Okay, good. There's that little access hole that we're going to need there in a minute. I'd rather drown. I'm going to lock myself in that air conditioning duct and just pretend this... Okay. Well, at least I know what's happening this time. Yeah, it says dare not turn around, and it's got a drawing of a guy about to get bum fucked by a ghost. <laughs> That's one of those things that doesn't doesn't need to be a surprise. It's just creepy, creepy as fuck. All right. <clears throat> okay. Um. Uh, this is supposed to be a no matches playthrough, and I've already used four of them. I mean, eight. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not counting. <laughs> I don't know if we need to go back there for the stairs. We might do. But that part with the corridor has been locked into my head because of the spooky ghost, so... Oh, wow! Even in the, in the uh, 1900s, they had automatic... Automatic, uh, what do you call it? Serving tray table things. Is that that robot from Short Circuit? You know, the one serving coffee? If you haven't seen Short Circuit, I don't know what's... You're fucking... Uh, you're, you're beyond hell. Okay, oh, there's a really hard bit here with the kitchen that I couldn't figure out. And I don't fancy my chances. This guy can be locked with a key. Oh, yeah. oh god. Well, it's kind of nice that, I mean, there's something to be said for demos that have stuff that's not in the full game. I almost consider them to be added value. They make you fall in love with the product before you've had it, but then when you get the, it's still all new. But I'm also kind of, uh, you know, Revitalized and, and energized by the fact that the stuff here that I might already have a, a chance of winning because I've done it once before. Having said that, I really got stuck here. <laughs> I couldn't fucking get the sequence of events right once the spooky guy comes. A ship full of spooks. And they come, they, we've got our name on them. Okay, so I think the trick was to run and hide here. I could definitely do. Oh, the lights went out. I don't want to waste matches, damn you. Damn it, under! Uh, it's not giving me much of a fucking choice, though, is it? Okay. Put a light. Oh, God! Oh, my God! I'm actually, like, running in the... <laughs> okay. I found the emergency light, and I managed to orient myself with that. Oh, this isn't scary, so you're going to have to match on to see his face, but if he... If he do that, he'll just... That was... That wasn't as scary as it could have been. I wanted to at least see the guy. 
Wait a minute, is he back? It's Michael Richards. <laughs> still, still trying to get his career back after that video. Wait a minute, he's not going, is he? Um, okay. Enough fucking around. Can we... No? Oh, no! See, there it is again! These games, sometimes the impenetrable obstacles are just such a, such a joke. Fantastic. Oh, the rats! If this is the way the rats are going, that's good enough for me. Alright, here we go. Alright. It's officially barrel season. Like, barrel season. The uh, name of a famed whore from London. <laughs> Hello, Governor! Just put your money on the counter. Oh, hang on. Daddy, what did you do in the Great War? I'll tell you what I did. I was a conscientious objector. I can't stand the sight of blood. Oh, no. Can we up the brightness a bit? I. Oh, shit. Did it again. It keeps changing resolution on me, and I was like, yeah. Oh, and I don't even know which one I like. What's it? 16.9? Yeah, good. Makes it nice and easy to. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Oh, fuck, it's the haunting thing where the faces disappear. That's so cool. And scary singing. Ave Maria. Oh, shit. Alright. This shape-shifting ship of nightmares is starting to fuck with me. Oh, <laughs> that... <laughs> oh, God. It's night and day. I like it. Good marketing. I don't know if it's era appropriate though. Kind of looks. I don't know. Again, not here to criticize, just here to. Actually, I am. I mean, they give you a video of a, uh, a, a key for a game. You don't just want to play it in front of people. It's fucking boring. I'll tell you, nothing more. Nothing sickens me more than a no commentary walkthrough. It's great to open up and scan around if you can't figure out a game. But as a human being, I'd rather you would just be a completely unfunny hack. Um then put up something with no webcam and no commentary. It's like, what, what are you afraid of? Oh god. <laughs> oh, a chance to serve again. Oh god. They, we're on a fucking Frankenstein ship. They've got dead great war soldiers and they're trying to bring them back from... Well, more further from than the brink. It's trying to bring them back. This door can be unlocked with a key. Mm -hmm. So can your average chastity belt. That doesn't mean it's a good idea. Okay. I said, back to Titanic, down here, somewhere, is a moist Rose DeWitt Bukata. Rose DeWitt Bukaki, am I right? Trying to save that nitwit uh, from an inception. I like that too, that's good. Um, oh fuck, now I'm getting stuck in the most obvious layouts. Like I said, this part I have actually won, so if I die here, that's shameful. He has escaped the grave. He will never escape those he left to rot. We're always behind you, just watch. Oh lord, am I gonna get fucking jump scared again? Oh, hang on, I see something. Projector slide. Oh good, if I find a projector down here, I'll know what to do with it. Ah! <laughs> Fuck! Fucking ghoul. It's Jeffree Star. <laughs> He's lurking around every corner with his fingernails going click clack clack on the wood. Welcome back to my chip. Oh, what a fucking... I don't know. I, you can't... I mean, there's some things you can't say on the internet anymore, but really... He's exhausted my list, let me tell you. <clears throat> Do any of these doors work? <clears throat> Run up! <sighs> okay. I am stuck now. Is the water getting higher? Can you tell? I need like a frame of reference. It is shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Bet you gone. I bet my guy can't swim either. Oh, and you get into the deep stuff and you can't go as quickly. No. You can't. Oh, fuck. I might have fucked up. Oh, you told everyone you were great at games and it turns out you're not. Oh, boy. That's a lie. I never said that. Either. Okay. Is there anything here? Have I picked up anything I can use? Shit, shit, shit. Oh, no. Look how fucking high it is now. If there was anything in that room that I was meant to use, it's gone now. Oh, man. 
I'm at that point where it's like, well, I just I hope the next checkpoint, or I hope the previous checkpoint isn't too far back. Because we fucked up. Okay. We I only get one key at a time? Oh fuck. Oh. Is there a door labeled dead Irishman storage? <laughs> I like making fun of the Irish. Well, I'm fucked. I'm gonna have to like play this part again, uh, but more sharpish because now, look at this. Look how look how deep the water is. It's up to my tits. We are doomed. Can I just drown myself and start again? Ah, oh, shit for tits. Yeah, we're dead. If I go down, gonna oh. oh! Okay, you can go underwater, that's right. Oh, and then it... And then it cheats you into running? <laughs> Hang on a minute. I think I might have glitched the game out, but I'll take... I'll take it. Okay. Except, what do, where do I use that key? It said F deck storage or E deck storage? If I didn't care... Oh, shit. Oh, that's not the door. Oh, this isn't fucking enjoyable. Uh, the, the, the game is, I mean, for you guys. Uh, again, the conceptual, you guys, because I don't know who I'm talking to anymore. Oh! oh. Okay, can we just drown? Because this is stupid. Let's go into the deepest water we can find. And prepare to reset. Death. There might be ways to escape hidden under the water surface. You know, it wasn't under the water surface when I started. Um, said every man on the sinking ship. But... Okay. I'm gonna min-max our way to those... <laughs> what does min-maxing mean? Look at that, David. It's gaming stuff, I don't know. I, I can't keep up. <sighs> Alright. Okay, we're gonna get to those keys... ...much, much quicker than we did. And we're in good shape with matches. We've got eight matches, barely touching them. Pick up things and look at them when you play a game like this because it might be like a trigger for a later event. Another little tip for you. Um, okay, let's check everything out. Let's go middle up with a key. Aha! Aha! Okay! So, this... That might be the thing I need to get to... Up here, okay. Up, up the stairs, where it says stairs to F deck. And I'll go get that key again. The F deck key. Well, that wasn't hard. Why did, why did I get stuck before? <laughs> Can't be my fault. It's got to be the game. It's poorly optimized. Uh, where, you know, now I've forgotten where the keys actually were. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, boy. Scotty... He might have screwed the pooch. Yet again. Fuck. What am I supposed Can remember where the keys are. Ah, it's a ship layout. They deliberately built it, knowing that people like me will get stuck down here. To what end? I don't know. It's the whole sort of keeping people in the casino for longer thing. That's why they take all the clocks off the walls. They figure the longer I'm in this cavernous trap of death on the high seas, the more likely it is I'll buy things at the buffet. I'm just I'm fucking walking in circles now. How did I get to that part with the key? Okay, hang on. We need to run again. Now, that's one thing I don't understand about this game. Somehow, if you dip yourself into the water, it gives you a burst of speed. Oh, wait, hang on. Is this the... Oh, no, I've been here before. Oh, I'm gonna have to fucking go back and look at the recording because because this is just dumb. I'm wasting time here. Okay, I'll just drown because uh, this is stupid. Start running in the doors again. I think I kind of know what I have to do now. Look at that. Pick up the matches. Grab everything you can in this game because it's it's not gonna give you anything. This door can be unlocked with the keys, so we're gonna go downstairs to get the key. 
classic game design. 101. The music's fucking loud. <laughs> okay. The water looks pretty nice. You know, those guys that are making the Titanic game, all I ever see is people say, Your water could be better. I'm like, oh, alright. <laughs> fucking how does that work? I don't think it needs to look perfect. Just. Okay. Uh, read the note. It's a message for me. There's a thing, which is the projector slide that we found before. Ah, there's the scary fucking spooky guy who shows up. We go in here. We get the fuck deck storage. Named so because that's where Penny Pringle lives. <laughs> and then this is, I think, this is the part that gave me the hint about going under obstacles that are underwater. Because if you play that at the speed of someone that hasn't just sort of like, you know, rushed into it, um, that thing will be underwater when you get there. Okay, uh, what are we doing? Gun storage. Uh, alright. <laughs> okay. I know we're up here for a reason. Um, wait, hang on, I think this is where you bust out and you're like, okay, we're gonna use a match, let's not be fucking stingy. Um, yeah, 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 this is where you bust out into like the slightly nicer part of the ship, I think. But, I haven't done that yet, why not? Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, here we go. Flip. Oh, hang on, no, we haven't. Oh, shit. Hey, now what? What do you want from me, game? I'm not ready to die. <laughs> uh, okay, good. We don't really need a match anyway. Okay. Ah! Oh, fucking hell, he was just limping around the corner like a real... This door can be unlocked with a key. Oh, great. Well, maybe... <laughs> Jesus! See, I knew about the coat thing as well, but... I forgot, conveniently. Ah! <laughs> I don't remember the, the head falling off last time I played this. Alright, hang on. We gotta... The power of this section has been cut off. Shit. Well, we're screwed, aren't we? Unless I get that key. Uh, oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Ding! Da da! Da da! Da da! Da Surprise! Surprise! Okay, is that all we need? Just the one? Let me take a light bulb for good measure. This is back in the day when they were making light bulbs that lasted 50 years, and then the international light bulb companies were like, oh guys, we're gonna, never gonna make a profit if we, uh, we give them stuff that lasts too long, so what do they do? Made deliberately shitty ones. Oh, I fucked up. What am I doing? I was supposed to, like, do the fuse thing as well. I just picked up a fuse and called it a day. Um. Open her up. Wait, is that it? Do I have to put it on the right thing? Oh. Cargo lift. We're going up. Well, I don't... I don't know what you want. Get me out of here. Uh. Okay. Thought it wasn't working. To shit myself. Alright. Well, take me to the deck. There's gotta be lifeboats up there. I love the notion that the ship is sinking so someone nails a sign to the wall. <laughs> Hastily scribbled paper warning saying, sorry, things going down. You gotta, gotta evacuate. Oh! Uh, depths of, under depths of fear not responding. Oh, okay. I'm so used to games crashing and not working that I kind of... I almost expected. What's that noise? Oh, it's the fans. Ooh. I haven't got any fans. <laughs> okay. All right. See, so this is what I really wanted. And then I think there was a demo in the nice part of the ship, and I didn't get to play it because I was asleep at the wheel. So it's good to finally see how the other half live. Mm. Lap of luxury. Oh, there's one of those burps. Oh. Oh my god, I might have to see a doctor about this. Too much reflux can't be good for you. Where, where, where am I? Is this the pool? It looks like a pool. They thoughtfully drained it for for the big night. Project a slide another one. Okay. Is that something I actually interact with in the game, or am I just collecting collectibles here? 
Is it like the nudies from Mafia 2? Oh. What the hell's good? Can we get there or not? I thought about Mafia 2 recently, actually, because I want to play Mafia 1 and remastered. Looks pretty great. Uh, might even make a crack at that tonight if I if I get any time, but what I was gonna say is uh those were great collectibles. <laughs> okay. Inspect oh, respect your elders. Okay, well I will agree to respect my elders when they stop looming around corners and then killing me when they catch me. This has actually been a pretty pacifist playthrough so far, because I basically flopped my way through the first real encounter with the guy. Because he just, he didn't chase me. And I lucked into hiding under the counter because the lights were off. Because I thought if I had the match out, he'd fucking find me. Um, oh! Have you ridden a camel lately? <laughs> Some good fucking advertising for you. Alright. Ding! Oh! What to do? What does WTT stand for? I hope I didn't do anything important. It wasn't the captain's life support, was it? Okay, cool. You can, you can really tell the ship's not set, uh, sinking at a steady rate. It's definitely been um, shifted. Oh, glitch! I saw that. For uh, story purposes. Oh, it's the watertight door. Okay. Watertight door. WTF. Yeah. Cool. WTF is water <laughs> watertight uh, compartments. Yeah. Because if the water was really rising as quickly as it was in that one section. I think the... Oh god, there's a guy at the end of the corridor. D d can I hide? Ah! Can I get in here before he sees me? Shit! I don't know what I meant to do there. Uh... Do I lure him to the watertight door and then like shut it in his ass, or...? Oh, f fuck. It doesn't help that I actually do have sort of a semi-full bladder right now, so... <laughs> Any sudden moves, that might be the end of me. Alright. We're going in. But this time, instead of rushing like a... A fool who's not doing his due diligence... We're gonna play a strategic game. We're gonna... There we... Where's the corridor where he appears? Okay, he's back there. Do I have any... way to... do? Basically, that door there is where he spots me, and that's the only open door. So... What if I just back out of this one? Or do I run and then shut the watertight door? I don't understand. I'll run at him. Boom! <laughs> okay. Does he outpace me? Oh god. Yeah, he might be on this side when I shut the watertight door. Um. Oh, I let him. <laughs> Alright, hang on a minute. Okay. Okay, what we're gonna do, we, <laughs> what I'm gonna do is, oh, I can't go back in there, that's the way I came. What I wanted to try is to see if there's any hiding spots that I can run back to in this section of the ship. Pretty basic stuff, I know. Um, can you turn the light off? No? Okay. Worth a shot. Um, so this is the watertight door part. What we're gonna be doing keeping an eye open. What happened to my inflection? Um, what we're going to be trying is to see if there's any places... There's really nothing, is there? You can still smell the fresh paint. The china had never been used. <laughs> okay. If I just bum rush, maybe, for this... door needs a key. There's like virtually nowhere to go. I don't know what to do. I don't want to get stuck, but then I don't want to kind of like 
look up <laughs> how to do it. It kind of takes the fun out of it. I'll give it a couple more goes, hang on. I figure if, if anybody's still here anyway, it won't be long before they click off, so I can just kind of, you know, relax a little bit. There's no pressure here. If I know this game, there's going to be some- Aha! <laughs> it will crawl in there. No, there's going to be somewhere we can go. Um, and I don't think I'm doing the wrong thing by flicking that, uh... I don't know, what you... If I hide back there, do you think you'll go in there? And be like, Somebody open the watertight door! It's my duty to ensure that everybody drowns on this ship! He's like this one of these all-seeing guys as well. It doesn't really matter what I do, he's gonna find me. We'll try it. We'll, we'll try hide outside the watertight door room in the vain hope that he thinks I've gone in there. I'm not in. I'm. I'm not here. I'm around the corner. Oh God! Hear him. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Guys, a precog. <laughs> Radio London. Okay. Uh, well, that's pretty much exhausted my box of tricks. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, fuck. Is there anywhere to go? We can't go in there. And I've pretty much opened all of the doors that work. So... I'm fucked. I'm, I'm, I'm double fucked. I'm dry fisted. It's a terrible turn then, but it's kind of become my... Uh... <laughs> I mean, it really, it's, it's very descriptive. Okay. Gotta be a way to get past him. If I just had more fucking time. Oh, that door didn't work. Alright. <laughs> Shit. Do I... I don't understand what's going on. Okay, hang on. I need to... Like, it doesn't seem to make a whole hell of a lot of sense to me, but there's like a... A wardrobe in there. You're supposed to open the drawer. Pull a key out. And that's the key for the door. How am I supposed to know something like that when I'm panicking? Really? Big scary World War One soldier zombie guy. Frankenstein project. What am I supposed to... I'm running from him, I'm supposed to think for... Oh, okay, open the door. Get the keys. Open this one. Complimentary matches. On the house. Oh, shit! That's not what... It's not shutting. <laughs> so now they've decided that he needs to whistle. He's nice like that. He's a friendly, welcoming zombie. Good God. Okay. <sighs> Deep breath. Okay, I don't really... There's gotta be somewhere I can go. So there's now we're speedrunning. I think if I walk through the door, though, he doesn't come at me quite so fast. Or maybe that's just like a... What do you call it? What do you call it? Placebo? I've never tried a placebo that worked, believe me. I would have known if it was a trick. Get that. Pick it up, you fucking sped. Jesus. Can I shut that door? Or that door? Oh, 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 is he knocking on the fucking door? Oh god. Is he still coming? He's knocking! Oh my god! There's like scary sounds happening and I don't want to die! Fuck. Oh no, he found me. He fucking found me. He reached across the bed to get me. Shit, this is hard. Because once you get in there and you're like trying each bedroom to find somewhere to hide, you, you lose all track of the layout. Okay. <laughs> I don't really need the additional music. I kind of just have it on for familiarity. I'm sorry if it gets annoying. I just put Titanic music on everything and say, hey, look. <laughs> Shut that. Get that. Ding. We're going to be methodical. Shut this door. 
Grab the matches. Shut the place down! You're on an ocean liner hiding from Gordon Ramsay. I know you're in there, Scott. Tough one, yeah. Okay. Well, Gordon, what, what do you suggest I do now, Gordon? Riddle me that. Riddle me this. Okay, that door doesn't work. There's got to be somewhere to go. Oh, oh, oh. Push something against the door? I can dig it. But it's not this. Oh! <laughs> it says push something against the door, but there's nothing pushable. I don't understand what the game wants me to do. Oh, okay. The bunk bed's pushable. Fuck me. Did you hear that? Remember me. <laughs> I'm gonna piss myself. Okay, now we're gonna sneak out of here. Is this quiet enough for you? Jesus. Ooh, I hate commentaries in my videos. I just want a nice clean playthrough with no jackass coming. I tell you. Uh, where are we? Yeah, I've got 13 matches, I think we can spare a couple. Um. Well, what, hang on a minute. Is he gonna appear again? Oh, fucking great. I don't want to go back towards where I know he is. Can we avoid that, please? Get this wheelchair in the fucking... Oh boy. Combination lock! Yes! What do you want me to do with it? Oh, well, I don't... Okay, I'm sure it's on a note somewhere. Maybe one of these ghouls can tell me what, to, what number it is. And wouldn't a combination lock require, like, three or four numbers? Sheets down here. Give me some. Give me some tips. For the big playoff. Okay. Okay. I don't. I don't know where to go for the goddamn combination. So how does the, the scary guy in this work? Is he tethered to me like an alien, or is he purely scripted? Am I? If I run past here too many times, is he gonna go? Oh, there you are. That's pretty good. <laughs> Where's that combination lock again? We're gonna have to fucking guess. Do you really want to try- how many numbers are on there? Alright, well... There's only... Hang on. <laughs> there's, only, there's only 28 of them. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this. Now, this is what real saves should be like. You've only got to guess one number. Oh, this is almost humiliating. This is eating food off the floor after you've dropped at levels of sadness. There's always more, you don't have to... Not everything needs to be eaten. Go make another sandwich. Don't... What the hell do I know? About anything. 19... You've been through most of these numbers. Oh, 20! Okay, there you go, there's your walkthrough content. Skip to 20, you'll be good. Good as gold. Alright. Oh, there's the captain. Locked up and ready to go. Put ya. Well, I know it's 20 now that I'm in here. Fuck's that sound. Poor chap. 20, I get it. I, I, I know. I'm I gonna go open one of these drawers. I don't like that sound. I don't like anything about this room. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Is he out there? Is he fucking out there? Oh god, I don't want to die. <laughs> Have we been here? Did this unlock? Okay, good. Oh, I like... It's a little thing, but I like set design and game design where you can see, like in this instance, the hull of the ship. The shape. The curve outside. Um, but I really do get the feeling that this the level design in this isn't actually logically laid out to fit inside a real ship shape. And, nor should it be. You know, you gotta... You have to... Oh, what am I doing? You'd probably find it too claustrophobic and limiting if it was inside a real... But that's a guess on my part. I don't know anything about anything. Scottish Battalion! Oh, it's a death certificate. Some people are such sticklers for documentation. 
Let's do this on his forehead. If he doesn't move, he's gone. We don't need to know how it happened. Um, are we in the torpedo room? I don't know where we are. Ah! Okay. I am fucking pressing too many buttons now. It's kind of glitching. Um, I'm sorry, what was I supposed to do in here? <laughs> oh no. Stuck again. Oh, hang on, mate. Oh god, this isn't a torpedo room. This isn't a fucking mortuary. And that thing that said 20 is what? Yeah, hang on. There'll be something here. Okay, alright. Oh, I almost don't want to do this, but. Keys to a door. Is there 20 coffin holes? Because if there is, then. No, there isn't. Okay. Oh, oh no! Oh, one thing I can't stand is mortuaries. I used to have to wheel shit past the mortuary at Royal Perth Hospital. Of course, the door's always shut, and you don't see what's going on in there, but I just hated knowing that that was in there. Like, I called it the spooky part of the hospital once, and the guy, my supervisor, was like, What are you talking about? We don't have a spooky part. I'm like, The stiffs! The dead! The. Anyway, this isn't working. Sir, something appears to be wrong with your gramophone. I am the Nazi general who listens to the gramophone while saying, you see, we are not all... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, look, it keeps glitching. Something... It wants me to do something, but... I can't. I... Alright. Can you... Can you... Can you fucking throw me a bone game, please? Maybe it's a red herring. You go in this room, you explore, nothing happens, and then... You, you come out, and the guy's waiting for us. Let's light a match. Let's see if that helps. It's a light activated gramophone. Who's this stud? <laughs> With the eyes in the photograph are moving. That's always a good trick. Um, I. I Alright. That was under everybody. No, what do I do? Because I'm a dumbass, I keep forgetting that there's things like pushing objects in this game. So theoretically, we want to push this. Thing out the way, but it's not really working for me. So I don't know if I fucked up by opening the drawer. I don't. By pulling that, did I somehow make this unpushable? I don't know, but I think what I have to do now is push this drawer out the way. So I. Game, I could really use some help. Maybe if I go back and find the monster, I can just die and start again. I'm not. I'm not crying bad game design, because that's not the sort of thing I do, but... What about this one? This shouldn't be here. <laughs> I don't know, or maybe I'm looking at the wrong drawer. Can I go get murdered? Just run up and down the halls until that psycho finds me. Um, and literally hope for the worst. I don't know. Oh, wow. Oh god, one of them woke up. Yeah, look at the bloody footprints. Except I don't think I can go back now. Fuck! Uh, hang on, give me a minute. Women of Britain say go! Oh please, they told you to jump off a cliff, would you? I don't know. Some thirsty cuck types might actually consider it. Okay, there's the death certificate. The Scottish Battalion guy. Island Platoon, is his height? How high was he? 6'9! Oh crap. <laughs> you know... Uh, I don't want to second guess the people in this game universe, but I don't think you need to turn this particular ex-soldier into a super soldier. Like, I think, if he was 6'9", he was probably pretty good already. Hang on. Okay, so there's the key. It's a god-awful... I can't believe I thought this was a torpedo room. Jesus. Here we go in. Mmm, if I didn't care! Okay. No, look! This isn't pushing! This fucking game's bugged out! I know it! Like, it's not me, it's the game. <laughs> Remember how I told you there was a, a, a you dumbass moment coming? Yeah, well, I watched a walkthrough of a guy pushing a dresser and assumed it was this one. Didn't really pay attention to the fact that it was this thing. The chest of drawers. Ugh. Oh god. Record called Poems for the Dam. Put it in a... Accurately named! Poems for the Dam. To play for the Dam. As they seem to sleep, 
Heaven knows they read. I don't know a lot of babysitting anymore, but if I have to watch my nieces and nephews for any stretch of time, I'm putting on poems for the damned and turning the light off. <laughs> Whoa! You still die there. You will never leave this vessel. Oh my god, this guy's cutting he's cutting his own records, his own LPs. Oh god, he's out there. He's out there. He's fucking out there. Oh god, I'm packing shits now. Oh god, the lights are out. What do I do? What do I do? Can I hide under the bed like like a dead body? Can I... Oh, I can't fit in there. Shit, shit, shit. Oh. Is this good or bad that that just got beaten in? Yeah, no, seriously. That's a new level of vindictiveness. He's cutting his own diss tracks on, on wax cylinders and, and, <laughs> and vinyl records just to fucking show me who's boss. I mean, if anything, I respect the guy more now that I, now that I know the depths that he'll go to. Um, all of that having been said, please get me out of here. I don't want to die in this ship. Oh, fucking hell, I saw... Thing is, do we really want to be going in and after him? I light the match and his face is staring back at me from the yeah. yeah, that's what's come. Oh, holy crap, there's people in there. But I can't. No no no, you don't. This doesn't need to happen. Is this a flashback? Yeah, maybe I should be watching behind me. Davey! It's chilly in here. <laughs> it's not that spooky. This is fine. I like a good bit of story storytelling. But, I'm also kind of scared. This was hard enough the first time we went through it. In the up. A little less of this, a little more sinking ship action with spooky ghoul guy. Oh, hang on. Do I want to light my match? Or should I just... I can't move. Oh, fuck. What happened? We did? Alright, I'll do it, I'll light a match. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay. Now what? Uh, it turns out you come back to the mortuary and there's a fucking open coffin thing that says your turn. Um, I mean, mature, real mature. Not only is he a seven foot tall death warrior from the beyond, but he also has the insult, the insult capacity of a goddamn seven year old. Can I, can I end it all? Okay, good. Oh, do I actually get a gun in this? Do I, do I even bother asking if there's ammunition? I don't think, just looking at him, and I, I don't know if I'm right about this, but looking just at first glance, this pissy little revolver isn't going to do much. It's not going to be like when you drill, you know, John Lennon while he's headed in the other direction and doesn't know you're coming. This is going to be different. Oh, hide from entities. Well, some light would be good if we're going to be... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> The last thing I did before I died was look at the pistol. <laughs> is this a starter's pistol? <laughs> oh, good gravy. What are we doing? Okay. Let's try that again. Yep, this might be useful in some setting, but not like that. Okay. Let's just get as many matches as we can and find out where we can hide. Like, this might be good. This bedroom might be the ticket. Whoop. Right, okay. We're hiding under the bed. We don't light a match. We just hide. We just wait for David Warner to show up. See, with no light on the... I'm, 
I should be wearing headphones. The first thing this game says to you when you open it up is, headphones are recommended. I can hear him moving around, but I can't see him. Ooh, Helen Keller simulator. Okay. Actually, no, she, <laughs> she couldn't hear him either. Never mind. All right. Is he going to jump out every time I come through, or can we make some progress now? <clears throat> That's something else we're going to have to keep an eye open for now, is places to hide. <clears throat> oh! Cool. Another cabin. Keys to a door. Keys to a door, as in, as in the sense of adoration. As in, I can't stand another minute without you. Brain starting to turn mush. It's not often that I play a whole game, but I think I might actually fucking crack the code on this one. Whoa. Did they really have toilets like that on ships back then? Hmm. Hit me up with your Titanic factoids. Actually, they just had a hole in the bottom of the ship that everybody had to piss into. Oh. Um. Cool, alright. Um. Oh. Is that the fucking sound? of when the baddie comes. Oh, I I've got nowhere to hide. There's no bed in here. Oh no. Oh no. Is he gonna find me? I just crouched instinctively and walked into the middle of the room, or at least what I think was the middle of the room. But. Uh, hi. <laughs> oh, fuck. Damn it. After this first cabin, we need hear that sound, and you know you've only got a few seconds before the lights go out. If you get under a bed, you're safe. It's a pretty good, consistent, you know, in-universe logic. I guess it kind of works. I don't know what's wrong with this guy that he can find me in a pitch-black room if I'm in the middle, but he can't find me if I'm under a bed. Just go, put your hand on the mattress and do this underneath. You'll find him. You can't miss him. He's the guy with all the really outdated pop culture references and the, uh, Irritating voice. Bam. Okay. Uh, let's find some more doors. Mm. Let's do it. Fucking shoulders them all open. Hmm. Okay. Good. Anything to collect here? Keys to a door. All right. So here's one safe spot. A safe space. At the end of the corridor. Shit, but that's too far back now. Oh, hang on. Can we go in here? <laughs> Pick up. Oh, look at this! Cr crude doors lock codes? Can I keep this? Why can't I just, like, put that in my breast pocket? Oh, piss. Hang on, maybe I can take a screenshot of it and just pin it to the... <laughs> that's not the worst idea I've ever had, actually. Oh, uh, hang on. Wait, snippy tool. Let's have a look. Boom. <laughs> and just pop that on the side of the screen. <laughs> not cheating, is it? I mean, what if you just had a really good memory? Okay. Oh. Fucking fuck. No, I fucked up. Oh, God. Man. Oh, no. Can I at least light the match so I see him coming? Wait, that does it. It's gonna be somewhere to hide. Does he hate water? Maybe if we just crouch down here, he'll leave me alone. Oh! Whoa! Well, that was weird. He appeared. I fired my starter's pistol and he disappeared. <laughs> cool, I downsized him. It's the little victories that fucking count, you know what I mean? Okay, but now the water's coming in. Fuck, maybe he's an aquaphobe. Uh, aqu <laughs> Little matches here. I deserve a fucking a resupply. Okay, well, let's get out of here then. Water's coming. Time to get a a shift on. Is that an expression? Shake a leg is what I wanted to say. Um, these fucking doors are all stuck. God damn son of a F deck dining room. Is that a? Okay, what do we got? We want twenty two. Oh, you got Oh, you can only turn it one way. Very nice. Except when you can't. That's amazing. Okay. Good. 
Oh, shit. Pick up. By captain's orders, all major doors have been... I'm gonna open up every door on this ship. I wanna see how fast we can sink it. Me and the captain, we have different ideas. Some doors can be des destroyed by explosive devices. Oh, tits. Okay, does hiding in the water count as like... Um... Oh, now I can't tell if I'm standing or crouching because the light's off. And I can't light a match if I'm underwater. I'm about to fucking die. Fuck this! Imagine trying to use a wet match. So it'll probably bend. Oh! Oh wow. I was underwater, now I'm not. What about him? Oh! <laughs> ah. More death. What can men do against such reckless hate? Nobody likes a good say it in quote anymore. I'm not sure why that is. Oh, fuck, it's putting me back here. I don't know what happened back there where I shot him and he disappeared. I don't think I... I like, I kind of know what happened, but I don't know why. And if you don't know why, then you can't repeat it. And if you can't repeat it, then it doesn't count as you... You know what I mean? Being skilled. Um, some old, you know, video game logic. Oh, fucking... I didn't mean to play this for this long. It's almost... It's more than an hour now? Hey, you know what would be great if I got to the end? Damn it, under. And this is actually a pretty short game, I think. I don't know. At least in its current form. Like, I don't know if he's going to add more to it or if we've, or if we've already passed that point. Okay. <laughs> Hang on a minute! I fired my service revolver to, um... Hang on. Oh, I want to get back to the... No, I'm never going to get back to that cabin. I need another checkpoint. How about that? Fuck, I don't know what I'm doing. And me firing off my... Oh, God. Okay, hang on. Another gimme. Here we go. This is good. Now we're under the bed. It's like a roll reversal. Now he's worried about what's hiding under the bed. It's supposed to be me scared of him. Now it's... A little bit of a... Turning these things. Oh, actually, you don't just see for a It's really dark, but I can see sort of a, some shapes moving on my screen. I'm not shapes, but like, you know, the room, because I move my head around. Okay, awesome. Okay. We're doing better than we were before. But I'd kill for a checkpoint. Can we, can we make that happen? Uh. Oh boy. Okay. So the, the dining room is the way forward. I guess. We want 22. But, for some reason, some god awful fucking reason, we couldn't get through this. It's something about explosive. Hang on, what's this one? What's this door? Purser's office. I don't have to think for this, and I'm not doing every number on the fucking lock. Hang on a goddamn minute! Ah, oh, crap, we don't have the purser's code. What about weapon hold? No, we don't have that either. Okay. Oh, well, we don't need it. Oh. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> it's gotta stop doing that. I don't know how many bullets we get for the revolver, but like, really... Oh, incendiary device. Okay, cool. Okay, well... Fuck. We fired two shots unintentionally now. Ah! Oh god, no! Are you shitting me? We didn't escape when we were in the water, did we? Can we hide? If, can, does he not like water? Take a breath. Hide again. This might work. <gasps> Don't be too long. <gasps> One more. <gasps> it worked, my god. <laughs> I'm really good. Okay, get, on, get GTFO, let that go, and bam, we're getting in. Oh. <laughs> did I just, did I just blow myself up? Can you, what the fuck? I think the corner of the room is a safe enough distance. Ah. See, this is what pisses me off though. I know more or less how to get past this bit now, I know it works, but. Oh. It's all a little bit imprecise. 
and the same methodology might not work next time. So, like they say, until you can repeat something, you're not that good. Um, I wanted to play other games tonight. I wanted to, honestly, I'm so angry at David. <laughs> I said to him yesterday, oh, David, we'll play some Phasmophobia tomorrow. I might be hungover, but sure. Now, I'm starting to think it might be... It gets to a point where you have to admit you have a problem. And I am thinking of maybe sending him some links to some alcohol support groups or something. Like, I don't want... I'm, and I'm saying this out of a genuine goodwill. I'm not making fun of him. But, it, it, you know, if the room is spinning, maybe you need to put the glass down. You know what I mean? It's a choice. You don't have to be hung over tomorrow. You could actually do something useful. Um, I don't really need to say more than that. Okay, we want 22. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, yeah, I am going to start sending him... Oh! Oh, no! Oh, God. Why fucking... I don't know. Okay, I'm backed into the back of the... The back of the uh, dining room and I'm crouching. Hoping that the water comes and... and deals with me before this guy does, because... No, I think I can hear him walking. Oh, fuck. There's not enough water now. This is starting to piss me off. You know when you, you're scratching on the edge of success, but you haven't quite made it? Oh, okay, he didn't get me. <laughs> fuck. Alright. Rad. I don't really think David's an alcoholic. <laughs> Just... Like I said, you know, you don't... Being hungover is not like a, a thing that happens to you like the like the flu or whatever. Like, it's, it's not a certainty. You can choose to just have a couple drinks, maybe. Um, in any case. Phasmophobia looks like great fun. It's the... For us, it's difficult because fad games bore the shit out of me. They always look really crappy and I don't want to take any part in them. So when there's one that looks good, it's like you should... Should take that with, by you know, take that by the balls and go with it. And uh, oh, <laughs> shit! There was a stairway to the sky. Um, I don't know. Take these opportunities as they come. But we could have played it three weeks ago, and you know, I guess there's no point now, is there? You wait too long, and something stops being like a fun idea. It's sort of like, uh, you know, why bother? Um. I don't really feel that way. I will. <laughs> if I have an old idea that I never got the chance to go with, I will just put it up two years later. I, I don't really care. Because this isn't a professional operation. We are just fucking around. We have that luxury. Oh, cool! Tell me about this man who was named Thompson. Not the most convincing model, but it's pretty cool. Uh, yes. Uh, the he your respective German pals like you, you would treat the fellow soldiers. You speak with him on a personal matter. Get him in the shower and fuck him. <laughs> I don't know, what are you... You know what happened on these old troop transports. I don't need to tell you. Now, tell me again. Which person am I talking to now? The action zone. Lost forever. Let me leave. Just let me... Okay. I'll be honest, I really did pack shits before when he was yelling at me outside the door. I only want to hear your name. It's coming! No help is real! General Kenobi! Just like, please, 15 seconds of story content at a time. I've got some puzzles to solve. Alright. Second class. You know, if, if this is second class, I'd hate to see first. This is uh, pretty decent. Okay, dear War Office. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not reading that. No. Last contact with my child, he informed me of the effect of absence of risk in his last attack. Then how did all those boys perish in an attack so safe? Yeah, well. It's called the fog of war. You don't really know what's out there. Um, okay. Yeah. Every corridor on the ship should be wide enough for you to wheel a dead body out of there. Uh, uh. Someone's telling me there's going to be a lot of them. Uh. Uh, am I stuck again? Oh, to the indignity. Truly, I... 
mean, there's a wardrobe I've got to push out of the way. <laughs> Pretty cool game, though. Won't lie. Um, like f oh, wow. Oh, I just lit a match. Oh, oh. <laughs> For some reason, I thought right click would be like aiming. Is he coming? Oh, God. I. I, I... Oh, <laughs> I'm not cut out for this. Wait, things changed. Hang on a minute. This this wasn't here before, I don't think, was it? Oh, look, okay. Yeah, yeah. I refuse to believe that any of these Hessian blankets would be enough to stop me. Again, it comes down to the whole, in an emergency thing, you will surpass boundaries that you thought you had, and you'll do things you never thought you could do before. Uh, you will hulk out and bite your own legs off to get out of danger. Um, at least, you know, some people. That's what makes them survivors. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh, fuck. See, things keep on happening when I'm not looking. Oh, now we're, like, getting into trans-dimensional territory. I'm in some sort of memory here. Quick, push the... I don't have to push that. Oh. Okay. Can't progress. What's going on? Oh, fuck. We left the ship behind. It's this weird mix of spooky and silly. Was that me? What are you gonna- what are you gonna find to pick with me for? I didn't do any of it. I'm a pacifist, I keep telling you. I- oh. Okay. Oh, oh no! So we're not going this way? Cool. I can dig it. I'd- I'd stay on the boat. If I had my way. If I had my druthers. Uh, oh. Quick, open door. Okay. Well, I don't know what- to, I don't know what to say scripted approach. At least I don't have to fucking solve anything. I just go where the game wants me to go. I'm cool with that. But it also gives me less to do, so... And the water is coming. Um... Doom. Doom. Okay, I'm fucking stuck now. Doom. Oh, what? Are they talking to me? Oh, crap. The flooding is accelerating. <laughs> oh lord. Anything here? Matches? Are we gonna need them? Oh! Nice. See what I told you? Ordinary day Scotty would just throw himself against that door and nothing would happen. It'd be a feeble little eh noise and that'd be it. Emergency Scotty. Could probably go through the hull of the ship. Oh! Get that guy! I should get my gun. Oh, well, we're both hulking through doors together. Okay. Oh, fuck it. It's nice to have a friend. At last. So, oh. What? What's going on? I need a match. Hang on. I don't know. I, uh, okay. The game bugged out. Do -do -do. Oh, am I fucking going the wrong way? You could have given me some directions. A real friend would have told me... Would have told me where to go. Okay, I'm gonna stop trying doors now. I don't think it's the answer anymore. Dum dum dum. Over where? Oh. oh, good. We're gonna need some more of those incendiaries. Oh, he left me. He fucking left me. Oh, shit. Lush surroundings, though. Oh, honestly, all these old sinking ships. They really are ter terrifying uh, prospects. Because all this shit used to happen. This is a full Lusitania situation. Hang on, I can't get... I, I'm, I think I was supposed to go through there and I didn't. Light a match. I'm boned. I, 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 unless we can get... Are we supposed to, like, go under something? Again, it's in the name of the game. It's all there. 
It's laid out for you. No, we're fucked. I'm just gonna drown. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. We're gonna have another run at this section. I just hope the quick save wasn't too long ago because I hate being catapulted past into the. Right. Okay, there he is. He goes, oh, I can't go that way. And I think what you gotta do is go back here for the bench. Ignore your dumb friend. I'm pretty sure I pushed both of those benches at the end of the corridor, but whatever. I don't know. I guess I'm wrong. That's a good feeling, isn't it? You're so grounded in your reality, you're sure of everything. You're sure of yourself. You're sure of everything. I've made the right decisions. And then you find out, no, actually, Scotty, you didn't push the bench hard enough. You're a pansy. Um, I'm confused. Why can't I get through? This is where I'm supposed to be. Oh, great. It's, it's really a lot better when you're like, oh, I was stuck, now I'm not stuck. And then you get stuck again less than a minute later. Good feeling. Um, I don't know, what about in here? I'm going in fucking circles. Boop. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Give me a minute. I'm eating a banana cake while I listen to spooky music. Good life. I actually don't remember where I was or how I got stuck, so I'm probably going to die again in quite short order. Uh, okay, here is that corridor where you push the bench, which I did push. I won't be told otherwise. Um, oh, son of a whore. <laughs> oh, it doesn't look good for Scotty, does it? I... I... Oh wait, hang on, I think I'm supposed to get a key. I think there might be a key for one of the doors. I don't know. Um, but that might be wrong on my part. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, nice cup of tea here. Oh, hang on. Am I the only man in the world that drinks his tea with the spoon in? I don't know, I just like it in there. I don't know what it does. If I drink a cup of tea that hasn't got the spoon in it, I feel as though I'm leaving something out. And it's not like a, a slight feel. It's, it's a strong one. My god. Something's missing. This ain't the thing I wanted. Anyway. Oh uh, yeah, I just had a quick break for uh, for dinner and a bit of, a bit of banana cake. Um, and that was good, but randomly I was thinking about Titanic movies because, you know, I had a sinking ship. That's what I do. When am I not thinking about a Titanic movie, am I right? Um, and I thought about this one from the 50s. It really doesn't look very good at all. Um, because, you know, various reasons. But the, uh, archetypal sinking scene where everybody starts playing, um, Nero My God to think, I'm gonna have to stop, this isn't fucking working. You know, we need to figure out what to do. Um, yeah. It's really spooky, because <laughs> for some reason, ev everything about it is wrong. It, it, there's trumpets, and I'm pretty sure there weren't any trumpets in the Titanic band. So it's got that going for it, as far as humour. Uh, and then all of a sudden the passengers start singing along with it, which I don't think is outlandish. I think, if any, if anything, if people were playing hymns on the Titanic when it sank, it's perfectly logical to assume they would have been singing along with because it was quite a... It was a thing back then. People knew hymns, they sang along with them. But the way they do it is so terrifying. It's this horrible... It's the shit version of Nero and Mogonta that James Cameron used. And it's like, Nero my god to the, the way they sing it is terrifying. I don't know. If you're easily scared by black and white footage of people that are all dead now, don't watch it. It's an absolute spook fest. Uh, full of spooks. No, no disrespect to the people making this game. It's far scarier than under the depths of fear. Um, and that's not because you guys have done a bad job. It's because the people making the movie, for some reason, just felt like, I don't know, laying it on a bit thick. I need to watch a walkthrough. I can't... I'm, I'm, I feel as though I'm pretty close to the end. I just want to see how to win this. So, typing for sync. Like a retarded seal. Alright. Uh, do do. You follow your friend. I didn't know I had a friend on the ship. Did I not pay attention to some crucial part of the game earlier on? Right. My name's Alex, though. I've got that gone. 
classic name of a cuck. No. <laughs> Keys to a door. Take it. Is it that door? Alright, good. Is a door. Um. Oh, crap. Things are ramping up pretty quickly. Oh, shit. We're in some nice fucking swanky... Oh! Corridors of the, of the boat. Ship, sorry. Ship, boat. Oh. Oh, did he fucking slam that thing behind him? Now I know we're not friends. Alex, over here! He just wants to make sure I'm dead. When I come back to England and show his wife who the real G is. Oh, crap. That thing happened with the lights and the scary sound, which means the guy is nearby and I'm about to eat it. Do I still have the gun? Oh, shit. Open the damn door. Shit, now I know something bad's about to happen. He just said we might make it. Oh! <laughs> wow. I almost tuned out then. It was like the game was playing itself. Oh, I need to play something else tonight. I, I don't like to throw away one whole evening of the game. Um, but, you know, that's what it's looking like. Okay. Let's chase the son of a- Oh! You put me back here! I don't believe this! Oh. No, 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 not over there. Over here. Come on. Speed run. I've always thought, with a bit of practice, I'd be an excellent speedrunner of games. I have the skills, I have the coordination, the knowledge. I don't see it as being that difficult. Oh, there he goes. Fucking twat, where'd he go? Okay. So, in the time that it took me to walk around here last time, the scary sound happened. Now what do I have to do to avoid dying? Not be there when the thing opens up and... Okay, he's gonna say, By golly, jump, we might just make it! So I want to be out of the way of the water when that happens. Wait a second, Alexander. Give me two secs. Alright, here we go. This is where it... This is how we make the big bucks. Okay, get away from the door. I have to, I have to like, watch him, that happen to him? Ooh. I ducked into a side door, thank fuck. Oh, every game is a winner and a loser. <sighs> I made it. Oh shit, I'm in one of those air pockets, the ship's being sucked into the fucking Adriatic. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Do I still have my gun? Did I get... I've, I've probably already asked that, because I'm a very repetitive person. But, like... but I don't want to press left mouse to, like, try it. I think the gun's gone. She was alive. I felt it. Alright, come on. Now, Alexander, I showed you the path. You've got to get out of here. I'm not dying in this room. It's not happening. You have his picture. Well, Let the slip. What was left of the hmm. Here's a fucking mess, isn't it? Alright. Oh. Oh. We're having another, like, dream vision because... Unless Captain Smith's coming on to me, I don't see these candles being, like, a real world... thing. <laughs> he lays down a trail of candles to his bathtub and makes out with me for hours and hours. <laughs> Captain Smith's big gay gangbang. Alright, here we go. Sorry, I don't know why I find that so funny. It's really not funny. Um, okay. Are we in, like, the hospital section now? There's... Seems to be just, like, this green cross thing going on. Green cross, is that? See, so many un unanswered questions in under. Oh lord, we're in another one of these twisty, windy segments. It's designed to make me feel lost. Me feel stupid. They could have just designed a ship where everything was laid out. You know in Black Mesa, you got those... This one is key, okay, good. You've got that, uh... Those green... Oh, green. Coloured... 
colored lines everywhere, leading you to different, leading you to different sections of the laboratory. Um, I can I can tell you that wouldn't be so, wouldn't be the worst idea to have something like that on this ship. Okay, door needs a key, huh? Oh, great. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, this is like playing snakes and ladders with an idiot. Who's the idiot, though? Yeah. Okay, there's one door that interacts, and it needs a key. If I was a key, where would I be hiding? Wait, was this here before? Aha! Okay. It should be, uh... I was thinking before about all that horsing around I was doing in the water trying to hide from the guy. And if you get submerged, it should make it... Is that keys? I can't get them. It should make it so that your matches get wet and you can't use them anymore. But maybe I shouldn't be sitting here trying to find ways to make the game harder when I can barely fucking win it. Just a thought. Okay, hang on. There we Thank you, fucking God. But knowing the linearity of this game, me going in there and getting the keys is going to trigger off some appearance of the ghost soldier. Oh, look at that. That doesn't actually work. Oh. Well, hang on a minute. Now I feel like a, a confused dog that is failing to serve its master. It's like, well, I gave you what you wanted. You wanted a key, I gave you one. And this game is the equivalent of smacking that dog on the, on the snout for trying to do a good thing. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I think the ship might be sinking. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know that, it's just a hunch. Oh. Is there a, a, a door here I need to unlock? I don't understand. I might need to pause and find out what to do again. <laughs> so, it's so fucking underhanded. Under, you know, it's, all, it's all puns tonight, but no, seriously. You, don't need, you, you shouldn't need a walkthrough to make a walkthrough, am I right? I'm not, I'm not making a walkthrough. Playing a game that I like the look of, partially out of uh, sort of a, you know, I won't say obligation, but kind of obligation. But also just because I like, as I said at the top of the broadcast, ships that sink, uh, spooky stuff. What, have I been? Hang on, this wasn't open before. And is this the, oh. <laughs> Do I have multiple keys now? I don't understand. Now I gotta go back. Now I'm gonna get spooked. I might as well just prepare myself for it now. It's gonna happen. Ah, there you are, Alexander. I've been waiting for you. So you know that they spoke to you through Hey, cool, but I didn't need the walkthrough. That's pretty good. Oh wow. Ever since I did that really pimp job of modeling that Titanic corridor, which I haven't done anything with yet, by the way. I wanted to make a video out of it, but I haven't done that yet because I'm pressed for time. But ever since I did that, I've been thinking, you know, I can basically model stuff now. And if David wants to make games, I can do the 3D half of it for him. Because I'm really that good. Um, and I, honestly, if I could turn one thing into a game, it wouldn't be anything Titanic-y. It would be this text adventure game we used to play when we were kids, called Theatre. Um, I don't even know how to convey to you what that's about. You're in an abandoned theatre, it's spooky. It's, uh, scary stuff happens. It's really very well written, I think, for what it is. And I just think it would, uh, that premise would make for a really cool game. So yeah, now you know what's in my head. I, I, I think that should be... Not by me, but some someone that knows what they're doing should try and make a game out of that. Uh, what just happened? The gramophone was playing. I left the room. Now I'm lost. Uh, and, tr <laughs> and trying every door on the ship. And the lights are out. Are we headed for trouble? We're here again. I fucking... I really thought I was getting somewhere. Oh, hang on. Culmination lock. More like the culmination lock. Culmination of all of my work. They're gonna need to... <laughs> I mean, they're gonna need to make one with more numbers, because this is too easy. Ah, oh, boy. This is not... This is the second time I've done this in the game. It's not my proudest moment. <laughs> Did this door 
have a label? Oh, alright. Oh, nice! Ship's getting more and more schmicker the higher we get. It's like a layer cake. Down the bottom? It's where all the shitheads live. Don't really want to associate with them. Now we're up to the cream pie part of the ship. Oh, let's we'll protect the slides. Cream pie. <laughs> let's get up here before I say something else that's stupid. Alright. Sea deck cabins. You're here. There's a small ship. It's like we've ascended to heaven. We're hearing voices from above. Oh no. This is kind of scary. Are people trying to get off? Or like I said before, is this like a hymn, hymnal thing? They just decide, well, we're going to die anyway. Why not die singing? And I don't have my pistol anymore. And I can't run. Don't walk on the candles, whatever you do. Oh god. This is getting fucking spooky. Oh, uh, is that... Oh god! Was that the guy? Or is there more than one zombie on the boat? Because one of them just got hanged. Oh, shut your mouth. Crying women, honestly. Take your destiny in your own hands. You're not going to get saved hiding in your cabin. Oh, hello. Let's get a look at him. Oh, no thanks. Uh, I didn't sign up for this. Oh. Jesus Christ. Notice of execution. Cowardice. Alexander Doctor to be executed upon return from the trenches. So I'm being transported to my death. Oh god. This is getting hardcore. Time for me to get the fuck out. Here's Dodge and here's me. Okay. You are still here. Alright. So I've gotten nowhere. Oh, it's... Oh, no. It's giving me more hidey holes. Which surely means that I'm about to get chased. Classic. <laughs> oh! Yep, knew it, knew it, knew it. Get the hell... Oh, God. Oh, God. This game, honestly. I don't know. I don't know how long it is. I haven't really been looking for the lengths of, of it. Just, just for hints. Um, but I should be near the end. I'm tickling the taint of the finish of Honda. Um. Am I free to go yet? Oh, honestly. Okay. Cool. That's kind of annoying. I, I, I sort of had hopes that I was part... Uh, past, rather. The part where I have to hide. Because... Ooh. Local funnel access. Oh, we... Best thing about ships, the funnels. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> That's the whistle, never mind. Forget I said that. Oh, no. I say and do some very dumb things. But that's really only the most recent example. Okay. Okay. Alright. Funnel access. Gotta be around here somewhere. <laughs> Must be somewhere on the ship. Yeah? What do you think of that? Oh, wait. New section. Ding, ding. Oh! Oh! Fuck! If anything, actually, the game kind of threw me a bone there. It made the bad guy come right when I found a desk to hide under. Question is, if you're under the desk, can you still light the match just so you at least get to see him peering into the room, or... Or is that not... Is it, will he find me if I've got light? They've toned it down for the game. This stuff used to happen all the time in real life. Um, pick up. Keys to the door. Maybe I could just get drunk. Right. So 
somewhere there's a door that's locked and I know I've got to find it. Not really how I pictured my, my day going. I thought it'd be finished by now. Playing something else that's on the list. I have a backlog that would fucking give you an aneurysm. Um, a lot of it consists of games that I accepted keys of and shouldn't have. Um, oh, because I just shouldn't. You know, it's no. Oh wow, funnel access! Yes, I knew it. Ooh. Oh, is that bad? Oh god. Um, because, you know, it's an avenue that's, like, open for developers to hand out games so that somebody will make a video of it that will convince other people to buy it. I mean, you know, I hate to be cynical, but that's all it is. They're not there to give us a chance at making a video or something. We're there to try and flog their game. Um, you know, it's not written down like that, but that's how it is. So I just, I don't know, I feel bad. David always tries to tell me, it doesn't matter. They're not losing any money by giving review copies to people. Stop feeling so fucking guilty. I don't know, I kind of, you know, I'm, I consider it that I'm here to do things for other people in life. You know, to give back a little. Um. <laughs> wow, cool location. Um, instead of just being a sponge, which is what I feel like right now. I was just telling you, I mean, if you if you like spooky stuff, buy this, it's pretty fun. Um, but that's really all I can do. Um, what, what am I, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. I, like I said, cool location. Uh, but is that it? Oh, fuck, it's going to make me go around? Do I have to go down? Wasn't I here already? No, actually, this is a different staircase, I think. Oh, hello. It's always good when a door opens, you know what I mean? Okay. In any case, God, my dude, fuck it. Ooh. Uh, pick up. The door lock codes. Oh, am I gonna need to do that thing again? <laughs> Hang on a minute. <laughs> oh, I'm so good at cheating. Alright. Let's just pop that somewhere to the side here. In case we need it again. Because that, as far as I'm concerned, that's not, that's not cheating. What it is, in, in real life, you would just take the paper with you. Oh, shit. More door codes. Alright. Uh, I thought I'd games the system, but it turns out I haven't. Uh. Code. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm saving codes. This is pathetic. Hang on. <laughs> that's not. <laughs> I think I got it. <laughs> oh, no, come on! Oh no! Here I am complaining about how long things, how long things take to do. But I'm really doing it to myself. <laughs> All right. Door. Okay. Door D7. Where are you? Let's find D deck codes. Seven should be twenty-five. Oh. Uh, not in a month of Sundays are you going to see anybody else quite as good at the games as Scotty. <laughs> Too fucking easy, huh? 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 Oh! Oh! What the hell happened? Oh, it's the little successes you got to, you know, keep them while you can. Keep hold of them because. You never know when a giant spooky seven foot soldier death marine is gonna come and ruin your fucking day. Just don't need the key. Don't they all? If somebody really felt like ruining my day, they could just lock all the doors on the ship. Okay, now I'm. We really are stuck, aren't we? Is there like a. So, are you telling me I need to find the key before I go in there? What happened to my hair? <laughs> uh, caution! These halls may flood at any time. Oh! oh that's helpful. Evacuate immediately. All right. I can't remember which door I fucking went through first time around. Alright. Like, 
Oh, they're cranking up the sinking sounds. Okay, here's, I think this is the 25 door. Oh, we fucking hope it is. Ding. Alright. Oh! Okay, so please stop fucking with me, game. There's a key in here somewhere. I just got in there, that ain't fair. Ah, oh, fucking, all right. Oh, my body's starting to hurt. I'm, I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> Is it normal to be in physical pain from just playing a game on the computer? <laughs> I might be like leaning forward oddly, um, which is my fault. You know. Posture is everything, uh, as the pro gamers will tell you. Okay, door, door lock codes, we've been in here. I guess I just go in here to make the game think that I'm figuring it out as I go. Because I'm pretty sure some games, and this might be, I'm making this up, but they actually, the script will wig out in an effort to stop you from speedrunning too obnoxiously. Um, oh boy. One of these doors has to open. Fucking unbelievable. Which one of those fucking doors do you go into? <laughs> okay. I, I want... <laughs> I really... I know now that now I have peeked ahead just to see what the length of the rest of the game is, I'm not far from the end. I can fucking win this. I know I can. Um, and it's that sort of thing of, well, once somebody's climbed Everest, you know, why are you doing it? What a waste of money. You're an idiot. Make no mistake, I have no respect for people to climb Everest. Um, I just think there's so many better things to do. You know, pick a mountain that hasn't been done yet. Or even better, just put those resources into something useful. Um, oh, okay, I'm not meant to go that way. <laughs> but at the same time, I mean, there is that human uh, desire and instinct to do something for yourself. It's one thing to stay at the bottom of the mountain. <laughs> so I can't even fit. Sometimes there's sentences that are so stupid. You can't make yourself finish them, and uh, for me, my half-finished Everest rant is in that category. Um, how do you feel about mountaineers? The thing is, there's no interaction. <laughs> there's very little back and forth anymore, because our channel is such a ghost town, but um, you know, maybe I should start actually asking people what they think a little more, a little more than I do. Um, just to, just to be like, I don't know, friendly or... Okay. I've... Hang on. I'm almost surprised um, <clears throat> that the bad guy appears less in this than he... I mean, you think about Mr. X from the Resident Evil remake, or the, uh, the alien in Alien Isolation. Um... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know, and, and I, I, I don't know. I guess it's a choice not to have someone following you, following you around the entire time in this game. And actually, you know, I kind of respect that. But um, I don't know. I thought I'd see more of him from the demo. Uh, you can take it or leave it. Okay. Okay. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> there's a sequence of events here. You go through the door with a 25 lock on it. it. Should be different every time. I actually, I haven't played Juice X in years, but I heard there's a fan patch that randomizes all of the codes and stuff so that you still have to look them up. I think that's excellent. I think more games should have something like that going on. Okay, light a match. The key is in here. Um, okay, I'm through. Oh, wow. Oh, give me the... I want that. Can I not pick things up while I'm holding a lit match? That's... I don't know. It worked. Anything else? I'm ransacking a ship. I mean, that would have been the bright side of Titanic sinking. Oh, fuck me, really? You know, the last days of Rome, man. Everyone's gonna go. Might as well loot the thing while you, while you still can. In the movies, the looters are always portrayed as uh, you know, cowards and... I think uh, 
It's human nature. The ship's gonna sink anyway. Smash some stuff. I would've just been running around smashing windows and things. Oh. Can we not go back? Oh, great. You know what? I, I sense a bad outcome. Inev and an <laughs> a completely inevitable one. I don't know what's going on here. Do -do 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 -do. Is the room getting more tilted? Oh, fuck. I'm like two minutes away from the end of the game. Can we just... Can you just give me a fucking win? I never look up in this game as well. Maybe that's my... Hey, Alexander, there's a ladder! Come on. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Oh, hang on a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I should have known there was a reason it gave me a gun. <laughs> I don't just... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck. It's those spooky guys from the end of that Titanic movie I was talking about before. Near oh my god to the oh, shit. Oh, I want some passengers to blow away. I oh, see he... The gun's gone again. I'm convinced it's deliberate. Alright. Are we here again? What the Um Hello Pretty sure the game just fucked up. It's this PT thing, it's looping now. Okay, can't get the gun back. Uh, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Uh, I'll try not to panic at that water creeping up the stairway. Just... Every fucking door again. And look for keys on hooks. Keep your eyes peeled for useful objects. This door needs a key. Okay, well, give me one then. We are just gonna drown, I mean... You can put this sort of thing off as long as you want. I think procrastination would not have been the order of the day on the Titanic. Um, it's not a particularly controversial stance to take, but seriously. You couldn't just be like, well, don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to it when we get to it. No, the thing is sinking. You are gonna die. Uh, I've just walked around in, in the same loop about two times now. Uh, it's blocked off the stairs. For some reason he can't jump over a bench. Alexander might be a moron. Don't make me go back here again. Is that water rising? Or is it stabilised? Okay. We, we need to find the key. This is stupid. It's got to be in here somewhere. Still need to keep. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I could have learned lock picking in the time it's taking me to fucking do this. <laughs> I think what we gotta do is go back somewhere where we were earlier, find like an elevator or some shit. But it's taken me so long that uh, that water must be rising by now. I don't know if there's any point if I just need to die again. Uh, but we'll give it a. We'll, we'll fucking give it a go, I guess. Get in the elevator. A spooky elevator. I mean, it all had to. Be... They couldn't have designed, like, cheerful, positive elevators to go on these scary ocean liners. No. They had to be the Rocky Horror metal great ones. Um. Nightmare fuel. Uh. Uh, let's just start. Can these work? Oh, it's the only one that works. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, fuck it, let's just flip them all, but. I don't understand. Oh, do I have to go back up the elevator? Oh, thanks for telling me. Oh. Oh, can we... Hello? Oh, fuck me. This is just getting inscrutable now. Oh! <laughs> yeah. I didn't even have time to be scared because I didn't think he'd be down there. 
Oh, please don't put me back too far. I'm begging you. Okay. Maybe this is good news. I don't know. Alright. Uh... Oh, it's that fucking song from the start. Alright. Uh, don't complain about the video. You know, nobody's more annoyed by me than I am, so just fucking... Whatever you think you have to say about my personality, <laughs> just keep it to yourself, because I've, I've already... It's all been played out. I've had every argument you're ever going to have, so... Let's go find something better to do. Alright. <clears throat> more of that fucking Hulk strength I was telling you about. In a crisis... I'm your man. At the match. Is he going to appear now? I don't understand. Oh! Fuck. I... Just keep, I'm sorry. Just keep doing this to you. Just keep... Don't really know what I'm doing. Okay. It's occupying this part of my brain. It's like, this won't be useful information to you again. again. You don't need to remember this. So it's kind of, my short term memory is also kind of piking out on me, and I'm kind of like, well, you know, it's all shippy looking. Just hold Shift and W, wiggle the mouse around, eventually we'll fucking land on the correct outcome. But anyway, basically, okay. You don't hide in the switch room from the guy because that's insanity. You go back out and patiently wait, which is something I'm incapable of doing off my own bat. You patiently wait for the elevator to come back down. Uh, that's the solution. <laughs> Alright. Flick the switch. Head back to the lobby. Now hang on. Wait. Wait a goddamn second. Wait for the elevator to come back down. It's there. Did elevators on... Uh, coal-fired passenger ships have, like, cool-down periods? Is it like a League of Legends power-up? I don't understand. Oh, fuck, here he comes. Let's just... Oh, shit, for shit. Oh, he's coming. He's coming for us. And I, for some reason... Do you mind? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I hope he fucking drowns. Does he even have lungs? If I was making a super soldier, I'd take those out. They're more trouble than they're worth. <laughs> he can swim 20 miles without ever needing to take a breath. Oh, look, it's the, the Overlook Hotel. <laughs> I don't know, we should have got more often. Uh, oh! <laughs> Is he gone? <laughs> fucking shit. This door, oh, of course it does. Of course it needs a fucking key. And you expect me to find it? Oh. Is. Oh. <laughs> If I ever won a game on merit, I ask you. Do I have to go further? Down here to get a key? I don't understand. They all need keys! This ship sucks! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, White Star Line. I didn't mean to fucking slam your hard work to heaven. Oh. oh. Give me a fucking break. Okay, well, we're gonna drown, and I guess, hopefully, this will be the last time I have to pause to figure out what to do, because this is just stupid. <laughs> oh. Oh. Is that how people drown? I think back down here from the lobby, Spooky Man's gonna be at the end of the corridor waiting for us. We're not gonna bat an island. Oh, look at that fucker. Duck in there. And then, to fake out, you keep going here to this other 
atrium thing where this door's been bust open and we go up this. Now, I, I guess I would have figured that out eventually, but the game was fucking with me by putting doors everywhere that said this door needs a key. I mean, they all need keys, technically. You don't need to, you only need to tell me that if we're going to be using that door in the foreseeable future. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, cool game. I really like it. I hope it is the end. <laughs> fucking, I, didn't want, I didn't want this to be my night. Oh. Ooh. Amazing how well this part of the ship's held up. Notice how the tilt changes as we go from part to part of the game. We can't run. Ah, oh, Christ. It's another one of those nightmares. Oh God, the menu music. You know something bad's about to happen. Does this ship even have lifeboats? My guess is the guy didn't have the resources to actually make a boat deck, so we're probably not going to find out. Again, that's not a knock on him. Regarding Second Life Act. Okay. Don't do it. Who knew that trying to make life from death was a bad idea? You know, Star Trek 2 taught us that. Don't mess with proto matter. It'll only end badly. Oh, yes. This is gonna get me copyrighted. Some gramophone bitch. <laughs> Wailing his heart out into a little metal trumpet. This should pick up the sound splendidly. And that's where they're going to operate on me. I tried lighting a match. Oh, 1937? We've shot forward in time. 20 years. 30 years have come and gone since the night that saw the end of the world. Okay, I'm with you there. Is he trying to tell me it didn't happen, it was just a nightmare? I know what I saw, Inspector. Can I move around? Oh. Is that his way of saying the game has no replay value? At the very least, it's like a sandbox mode where you just walk around. The oh crap, here we go, we're being wheeled in. Oh no, is this a time loop? I don't want to go on the cart! Oh no way, is that it? Am I, did I win? Shit. I went back on the boat. Oh no! It really is a time loop. Sleep tight, everybody. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. That's pretty cool, though. Great little project. Well done. I like under. Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. It's not the deepest experience. <laughs> okay, just, I, I'm not, I, I didn't work. Look, there's not that much to it. Oh, that's cute. He made a <laughs> he made a game about spooky Frankenstein soldiers on a sinking ship and then dedicated it to the dead of the First World War. Nice. Um, no, I think it's great. Good little spooky experience. And uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really sorry that I didn't play it better. Uh, but hey, that's no surprise to anybody. I'm going to think of something else to do now, or just stop, so... Take it easy, guys.